Hey everybody, it's Wobby, it's here, and today, as I said in my last video, or the first video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a apartment room tour. Uh, it's not exactly how it would be because I had to set up a light there so I could actually, you could actually see me. Because uh, otherwise, it was just going to be the backlight and the ceiling lights were too dim to show. So. First of all, as you can see behind me, that's my bed. I mean, well, it's just a bed at the end of the day. It's a three quarters double, three quarters double bed. Uh, and the view I have out there is beautiful on a day like this. And just to the left here, we have the magnificent kitchen. Come with. So just left here, we have the kitchen. My little cute kitchen. That's the light, sorry for blinding you there. This here is a beanbag but, um, sofa. A blanket over it, you can see which side I uh, tend to sit on more by the massive imprint there. Oh, I need to shove that in the corner. But that's, oh, in case it's fallen. That is where I keep my studio equipment. It's usually pushed a bit more, but as I got that out from that bag, it obviously has tipped a bit more forward. But usually it's hidden away in the corner and it's not even noticeable. There is my study area and my mini, free, my mini freezer. Obviously this is where I'll be sitting for the majority of this year, both academic and in general. Obviously I've got my Xbox, and yeah, that's that. TV that came with it, it's a nice little TV. Books, because you know, I, apparently I read sometimes. And those uh, are books I should be doing research for. Uh, again, this is my bed, which is just a bed. Got a little desk fan there for when I, uh, you know, get hot at night, but it's too loud. And then this is, like I say, the view. Honestly, one of the best parts about this place. But, oh, then the bathroom's in there, but you don't really need to see that. It's just a, it's just a bathroom. So, that was just a little room tour type thing, just to show you the place I am currently living, where Blow Bites is in residence. I've got that line open as well, so now the light's gone crazy. But I also, in this video, I'm going to do a little, in the next clip, I'm going to be doing a little speed, a uh, little sped up video of me putting up the studio in here, just to show, you know, me putting up the studio, since I haven't, I think I've got like one picture of me actually um, having the studio up because over the Christmas period I did a few family portrait shoots for multiple ranges of fa multiple families and just took a few pictures for them with the kids and them on their own but yeah honestly I'm very happy with the space I'm in I'm glad honestly in the last two years I've been shared in shared accommodation so it's really nice just to have my own space, my own place, and just enjoying the peace, I'm not going to lie. Like as much as obviously I do have neighbours, um, it's, still, it's still a lot more quieter than a shared accommodation. And I'm on the 8th floor as well, so I get... So running up and down the stairs is fun, but there is a lift. Uh, but Covid rules, you know, can't go up a lift, unless there's, if there's someone in it. So yeah, this next little segment is going to be me putting up a studio and hopefully it'll go well because I haven't put my studio up for a while due to Covid and not having the space at my own home. So, so first of all obviously I need to move the beanbag sofa out of the way. Then next I need to get out my backdrops, I'm going to be using the white one for this demonstration but I do also have grey, black and green and there is my lighting stand bag as well which obviously holds my light in my um, backdrop stand, which I'm putting up now. 
So this is the first one. I had little things at the top I needed to get off. And then there's the second one. So I can put a pole across, so I'm able to put the back grip on. I have to obviously make sure that they're the same measurement. And then there's the poles that go across the top where the backdrop would go. I'm just placing that equal again. Then obviously there's, there's the backdrop. It does look quite creased, but that is because I, it was folded loads and I haven't managed to iron out. So then once that's on, I clamp it down, make sure that everything's in position. And then I put up my lighting stand, which then has the thing that holds the light. I do use continuous lighting, so that would obviously be that. I would also have closed the blind in a normal shoot. And then I just put, I put an umbrella to diffuse the light and then check itself good, and then there you go. Okay, that is, oh, hold on. That is the studio pretty much set up. Uh, it is slightly small, like, got slightly less than usual, obviously because I've got my tripod and my camera here, and my other light is, here lies in the room. So, yeah, that was just me building up my uh, studio. Uh, usually, as well, the floor, like, I'd have a bit more on the floor, but say if this was just a standing shoot, for example, I wouldn't necessarily need that. But as I'm quite tall, the uh, poles would need to be extended a bit. And obviously, the lights would move depending on. If whether or not, well, depending on what lighting I wanted. I only have continuous lights at the moment, though I am looking at getting flash lighting. Uh, I do also have a box, a uh, mini box for like product photography, which I used for my, oh, there we go, which I used for me last year. Yeah, as, as you can see, there is, in fact, plenty of room studio, like my, my polo studio, and yeah, made a bit of a mess on my bed, but there's nothing that would be easily takeable down, or easily fixable, I can just throw everything back in the bag afterwards, but obviously just for the sake of this video I'm not going to, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.